another edition of Multiplex Movie Warzone Teams. We have a, a really, really good match for you. We've got Team 80s, Jeremy and Sandy, going up against Blockbuster Video, Mike and Nazario. Now, uh, this is, uh, you know, T Blockbuster Video, a place I've never been to, and Team 80s, a decade I've never lived in. So I'm out of my element here. Brian, you're old. Help me out. What do you think about this match? I don't want to talk about it. No, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, Blockbuster Video, I think a lot of people uh, know Team 80s is, is such a dominant team, but you cannot underestimate Blockbuster Video. I mean, their win against my team aside, they're, they're a great team. They've proven themselves over and over again. So this is going to be a great match. Yes, indeed. Yes, it definitely is going to be a very entertaining match. I'm excited. So without further ado, let's get in to see what these teams have to say with the promos. Hey, Mike. What's up? How you doing? Good. Blockbuster is open another day, man. A Excited? Day. Yes. Dude, I was so worried about this match, but then I was watching the previous match, and I don't know what happened, but they apparently put Nico in the team, so that's great. No, no, dude. Yeah, dude, dude no, 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 no. Dude, dude, dude. We're facing Team 80s, not Nico. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess we still got a shot. I mean, those guys are so old, they probably haven't seen all the new stuff we got now. I play. I bet they even still use Betamax. They don't even know what a laser disc is. Or VHS. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. They probably still are watching, like, black and white silent movies and calling the new one talkies. I'm pumped. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, here we are, Sandy. We're in the semifinal match. We're trying to get our shot to go to the championship. It's Team 80s. We're here. And I'm excited because, as you said in our last match, we've already beaten this team in another league, right? So I'm really excited. Oh, wait a second. We haven't played them, have we? <laughs> nope. That was my bad, Jeremy. Uh, I was just <laughs> so excited for the future prospect that we might beat this team that I was prophesizing in, in, yes. in my, in my okay. final statements. Well, no, we have not beat this team before, and there's a reason for it. These guys are real good. Oh, yeah. But, hey, I mean, maybe maybe you are prophetic. Maybe you've got a, a crystal uh, ready player one uh, themed crystal ball there, and you've seen into the future. That's what I choose to believe because I want us to get this win today. But one way or the other, it's going to be a fun match. These guys are our friends, and they're old timers like we are, you know, despite what they might say. They're, you know. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what? I do have something from Ready Player One that's going to help us out. I do have a Zemeckis cube. So, right. you know what? If we get a bad res result at the end, I'm just going to flip that thing and turn it back, and we'll get all the right answers. <laughs> and they won't even know what's happened because we only will. I will say this, though we are old. That is correct. Uh, we've seen the creation of VHSs and DVDs, and we've seen the downfall of VHSs and DVDs. Yes. We've seen it all. We've been around since the age of the dinosaurs, but <laughs> it is now time to put another failed franchise in the ground. Yes, let's uh, let's see your blockbuster video get retired once again. <laughs> let's do this. Right. Well, those were definitely some interesting promos. Brian, what were your thoughts on that? They're fun yet respectful. I do have bad news for Sandy, though. His Zemeckis cubes are not allowed in this league. You have to save those for full metal. Sorry about that. Yes, that is uh, on our list of illegal substances. That is basically our equivalent of steroids in this league. So uh, Lance Armstrong reference here. Okay, without further ado, let's get in both these teams into the ring, ready to rumble. Why do I keep referencing that movie? It is time. Okay, introducing first, with a record of who wins and no defeats, they are Mr. DVD, Mike Hanley, and Mr. VHS, Nazario Montenegro, Blockbuster Video, and Introducing second, with a record of two wins, zero defeats, they are Sandy, the Sandman, Robinson, and Jeremy, the Adam, Adams, Team 80s! 
Okay, now we have both teams in the ring. Uh, Brian, are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Let's do this indeed. So, before we get into it, I'm going to quick give our rules for round one. We are going to give you eight questions in eight different categories. You will write your answer down on your whiteboard or piece of paper if you prefer. If you get it right, you get a point. I think we all know how this goes. So, I will give you your first question in the realm of war movies. War, what is it good for? And your question. What was Tom Hanks' occupation before he went to war in Saving Private Ryan? Well, this is, this is definitely a much beloved movie. Many people think it should have won the Oscar for Best Picture, Brian. What, what are your thoughts? I love this movie, but I also did very much enjoy Shakespeare in Love, so I had no problem with that one either. Yeah, honestly, I, I like Shakespeare in Love. Three, what? two, what? Oh, Arker Sam? Okay, let's go to Sandy first. He has opinions. Uh, yeah, what the hell, my, Brian? Uh, I said teacher. That is correct. And let's go over to Nazario. <laughs> teacher. That is also correct. Jeremy. Yeah, school teacher. Correct. And Mike for the clean sweep. Teacher. Yes, correct answers all around. Brian, would you like to give our competitors their second question? I will. Our second question comes in the category of romantic comedies. What movie's cast includes Scarlett Johansson, Bradley Cooper, and Ben Affleck? Superheroes all around. Yes. Yes, indeed. One a raccoon, one a black widow, and the other a mediocre Batman. That's sorry, not sorry. Four, three, two, one. Markers down. Okay, I'm going to start with Nazario. Uh, I'm just a guess. Valentine's Day. Okay, Sandy, what do you got? I did not have anything. Okay, Mike? Didn't have anything. And Jeremy? He's just not that into you. He's just not that into you is the correct answer, so just Jeremy gets a point that time. Good job, dude. Thank you. And your third question, in the realm of horror, horror movies, who played Freddy Krueger in the 2010 remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street? I said that as if there's another remake of Nightmare on Elm Street. <laughs> oh, give them time. There will be, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. In five, four, three, two. Repeat. One. Oh, repeat. And who said that? Me. All right, we'll repeat for Team 80s. And your question in the realm of horror, who played Freddy Krueger in the 2010 remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street? Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Okay, let's go over to Jeremy. Jackie Earl Haley. That is correct. Nazario. Jackie Earl Haley. Yeah. Uh, Sandy? James Earl Haley. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. And Mike. Didn't get it. Okay. Only Jeremy and Nazario getting it that round. Brian, you're over to you. All right. Question four in the category of actors and actresses. In what film did Danny Trejo first play the character of Machete? I don't want to say too much here. Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Except that he's perfect for the character. I'll give him that. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. I'll start with Mike. Of the Desperado. Okay, and Jeremy? Grindhouse. Nazario. My kids. And uh, Sandy. I said Grindhouse as well. The correct answer is Spy Kids. Ah. Spy Kids. So Nazario getting Uncle the Uncle Machete. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Spy Kids, uh, a movie that I watched quite a bit as a child. Shock. Comes in the category of comedies. 
El Crucius, Maiden of the Clouds, the Ghost of Stonewall Jackson, the Mighty Minotaur, and a Were Hyena appear, appear in the fight scene of what film? <laughs> You cut out. Where, in the, where, you cut, where, yeah, you cut out at the beginning. Yeah. You cut out. Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't hear the out. beginning. Yeah, yeah I'll give you a repeat there. In the category of comedies, El Trucias, Maiden of the Clouds, The Ghost of Stonewall Jackson, The Mighty Minotaur, and a Were Hyena appear in the fight scene of what film? So, what film is the fight scene that? Contains all these different elements. And I did not remember the scene at all. Of course, I've only seen it once, but I won't say anymore. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, I was hoping somebody would make him say it again. <laughs> okay, let's go to Sandy first. I said uh, Night at the Museum. Uh, that is, or I won't say yet. Uh, Nazario. This is the end. Not or Jeremy. <laughs> I really don't know. I guessed McGruber. And Mike. Didn't have anything. We were looking for Anchorman 2. Anchorman uh, 2. The legend continues. Okay, Brian, over to you. Okay, this one I think will be a little bit easier for you guys. In the category of movie quotes, fill in the blanks in this famous quote from Silence of the Lambs. A blank blank once tried to test me. I ate his... Liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. There's not a lot of silent lambs in that movie. Five. I won't comment on that. Four. <laughs> I have no response to that, too. One. <laughs> Zero. Okay, let's start with um, Nazario. Mm, I said Clever Man. And Sandy? I said a young man. Mike. Said young man. And Jeremy. A census taker. A census taker is correct. Just Jeremy getting the point again that time. <clears throat> okay. And time for your penultimate question in the category of 90s movie. Michael J. Fox plays a big city surgeon stuck in a small town. In what movie? Is it cars? <laughs> yeah, it's cars. It is actually. <laughs> Basically your thought for this movie. It yeah. is. Can uh, I have can I have four, six points for this? Three, two. Um no. Nah, one. All right. Zero. Okay, let's go over to Sandy first. Doc Hollywood. And Mike? Doc Hollywood. And this is and Jeremy? I had such a crush on Julie Warner, Doc Hollywood. Yeah. And sorry. <laughs> Doc Hollywood. Correct all around the board. I was more Brian. of a Brigitte Nielsen, uh, you know, a person. Or uh, Brian uh, or Bridget Fonda, sorry. Bridget Fonda, oh yeah, there you go. I was say Brigitte Nielsen, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was going to say. Watch, watch <laughs> human flavor play. Okay. Your final question comes in the category of 80s movies. In Pee Wee's Big Adventure, the fortune teller tells Pee Wee that his bicycle is where? Oh. I like this movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Markers down. I'm going to start with Mike. Said Hollywood. And Sandy? I said where he left it. <laughs> and Nazario? I said Hollywood too. And Jeremy seems like he's got it. Well, why don't I give you the full it. quote? It's in the Alamo in the basement. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Alamo is correct. Yes, and specifically the basement of the Alamo <laughs> is even more correct. But Jeremy just showed off. Silly uh, boy. Alamo doesn't have a basement. <laughs> no perfect round. So that does mean that we will go over to Brian for a score check. Brian, what are our scores? I have Team 80s leading with eight points over Blockbuster Video's six. That is also what I have. So, yeah, I did math right for once. Yes. 
So we are in agreement here. So, all right, it's time to go to our lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com where you spin a category and you get five questions in that category. If you get it right, you get two points, or you can go to multiple choice for one point, or if you get it wrong, the other team gets a chance to steal. So the categories that we have on the wheel today are classics, Barbara Stanwyck, View Us Universe, Friday the 13th, musicals, horror, Star Wars actors, Oscars, and spinners and opponents choice. Now, Team 80s, it is you are in the lead, so would you like to spin first or defer? Defer, Sandy? Yep. All right. Okay, so Blockbuster Video, this spin is for you, and it lands in the category of classic, <sighs> very close to opponents choice. Would you like to keep classic or spin again? I think we should spin again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Might as well. Do it. Okay, well. spinning the wheel again, and you land in the category of your strength of Friday the 13th. So, would you like to give Blockbuster Video their questions in the category of Friday the 13th? I will. They seem a little bit happier with that one than Classic, so. <laughs> Good choice to spin again, I guess. Okay. Your first question in Friday the 13th. In which Friday the 13th film did actor Crispin Glover appear? Friday the 13th, the final chapter. Final answer. That is correct for two points. Your second question. A gas station in Friday the 13th, part six, is named after what horror film icon? Any idea, man? I think we gotta go multiple choice to narrow it down. Okay. Do you have any idea? Yeah, multiple choice. Multiple choice? Is it A, Vincent Price, B, Lon Chaney, C, Boris Karloff, or D, Christopher Lee? Mm. Anything sound familiar? Maybe 31. I was thinking 51, but uh, you rewatched it earlier, so I don't know. Uh, let's go C, final answer. C, as in cat? Yes. That would be Boris Karloff. That is correct for one point. I believe it's called Karloff's General Store, actually. <laughs> the uh, third question, Friday the 13th. Over the course of the 10 original films, Freddy vs. Jason and the 2009 reboot, how many different actors played Jason Voorhees? I'm thinking it's 10, Mike. Yeah, 10, final answer. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Can I go to Team 80s, which I'll try for a steal? I want to repeat the question. Over the course of the 10 original films, Freddy vs. Jason and the 2009 reboot, how many different actors played Jason Voorhees? Well, you got to remember it's the kids, too. Yeah, because they he was shown as a kid, so I'm thinking maybe it's even more than ten. But no, maybe not, because nope. I think there's only like four main Jasons. I think, I what think do you think? Nine? I think it's no. I think it's six or seven, even including all the kids that played him in like flashbacks. I would go. I would. I would. I would go eight. All right, we'll go. Use. We'll go. We'll go eight. Final answer. It's incorrect. The answer I have is here's nine. We want to challenge that. Yeah. We want to challenge that. <laughs> we want to challenge. Okay. We want to challenge. Yeah. Understand yeah. challenge. It's, I'm pretty sure it's ten. Yeah, we looked it up on Wikipedia. There were ten actors on there. Okay, we're back after our challenge. Um, we have many different sources giving us many different numbers. So we have agreed we are going to throw out that question and bring in a new question. And so Blockbuster Video, you do keep your challenge if you need to use it later in the game. Okay, so <clears throat> your, what is this, the third question in Friday the 13th series. Jason Voorhees' mother was named Pamela. What was his father's name? Holy shit. <sighs> I is, that, is that even a thing? <laughs> 
multiple choice. Yeah, multiple choice. Was it Ebenezer Voorhees, Bertram Voorhees, Elias Voorhees, or Horton Voorhees? I'm thinking 58. Yeah, let's do 58. C, final answer. C, Elias Voorhees is correct for one point. And that was uh, introduced in Friday the 13th, part six. Your fourth question. How is Kevin Bacon's character killed in the original film? He is laying down on a bed, and then he gets an arrow through the back of his neck that comes here and chokes you. That's it, Mike, right? Yep, that is. From under the bed. Final, yeah, from under the bed, final answer. <laughs> That's verbatim what I had written down. No, I'm kidding. But yes, that is correct. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's a spear gun thing, isn't it? Like a spear gun, not an arrow. I believe it was an actual arrow. No, Do you want a challenge? challenge? Nah. No, no, no. I was just helping. Okay. That's a great answer. Yeah. Very graphic. <laughs> we had a reenactment from Nazario. Nizar <laughs> <laughs> okay. And your final question in Friday the 13th. In which film is a camper killed when she is picked up in a sleeping bag and slammed against a tree? Oh, that is in two films. Yes. Well, um, I guess oh. I guess technically alive is in like a, a real person is in one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think the second one would count. Okay. So uh, do you have any idea, Mike? Because I'm between then two. Uh, you want to go multiple choice narrow it down? Wait, wait. Or do you? Mm. Give me a repeat. Give me a repeat. Repeat. In which film is a camper killed when she is picked up in a sleeping bag and slammed against a tree? Mm, it's going to be a tight one, Mike. We either take the, the chance or we just go multiple and try to actually wild with them. You want to take the chance? Do you have, do you have any, any idea? Like uh, you're leading a movie? The name? No. Wait, we're looking for the name of the character, right? No, you want no, to no, no. Which oh, which film? oh shit. It's um I need an answer. Five, four, three. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it A Friday the thirteenth part two? B Friday the thirteenth part three. C Friday the thirteenth part six, Jason Lives. Or D Friday the thirteenth part seven, The New Blood. Okay, I was between two movies, and they're both in the multiple choices. Which ones? I'm thinking it's either 55 or 71, but I'm thinking 55. Okay, let's go 55. See, final answer. Uh, incorrect. Uh, Team 80s? You're muted, dude. What you got, Sandy? Uh, I believe that it is the... It, that it's Kane Hodder that does it. And I think because that is, it's the first movie that he's in, which is D, The New Blood. That's what I think. All right, final answer. That is correct for a one point steal. I completely forgot about the Kane Hodder part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, made it up, buddy. Made it up. Made it up. Six points. And that's Thank you, my friend. And he's got one point steal. Yes. And that is uh, the. Yeah, that was their last question, right? Yep. Yes. All right, yeah. So uh, we are at 9 to 12? Yep. Correct. Lead. Okay. So, Blockbuster, your spin is... 80s. <laughs> 80s spin is in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 80s, sorry. And you landed in the category of Oscars. I think I know uh, how this is going to go. Yeah. Let's take it. Okay, uh, Team 80 is taking it, and I will be giving you your question in the category of Oscars. All right, your first question in the category of Oscars. How many Oscars did Bohemian Rhapsody win at the 2019 Oscar ceremony? <sighs> I hate these questions. Let's go multiple choice in case I, I that's what I let's go multiple choice just in case we're off on a digit. All right. 
Multiple okay, choice. multiple choice options are, is it A, 2, B, 3, C, 4, or D, 5? Let's go 4, final answer. No. That is correct. Dang it. One point. Should have just trusted it, Sandy. <laughs> and the next question in the category of Oscars. Well, for what film did George Clooney win his only acting Oscar? Siriana, final answer. Yep. That is correct for two points. I was just about to say it, too. Yeah. <laughs> and your third question in the category of Oscars. What was the last year that had just five nominees for Best Picture? And we were are looking for the year the films were released, not when the ceremony okay. was held. All right. 2008, final answer. That is correct for two points. Nice. I was trying to count down. <laughs> and your fourth question. What film beat out Apocalypse Now to take the Oscar for Best Picture? Kramer versus Kramer, Kramer. final answer. That is correct for two points. And your fifth and final question in the category of Oscars. What 2013 film had nominations in all four acting categories, but won none of them? 2013. Um... Going to have to go multiple. Yeah. Okay. Your multiple choice options are, is it A, 12 Years a Slave, B, American Hustle, C, Silver Linings Playbook, or D, Wolf of Wall Street? Could it be Wolf of Wall Street? No. Leo didn't win. No, um, it's... Okay, then my next one is between either um, American yeah. Hustle or... Yeah. I think it's answer or repeat it's, in I, five. I, yeah, I repeat the options, novel. please. Okay, your options are A, Twelve Years a Slave, B, American Hustle, C, Silver Linings Playbook, or D, The Wolf of Wall Street. American Hustle, final answer. It is, yeah. That is correct for one point. Okay, so Team Eighties getting eight out of ten points for that one bringing their score up to 17 blockbusters still at 12. Is that what you have, Brian? That is what I have as well. Okay, it is time to go in for our third round. We call our picture poison round. We have six categories on the board, and both teams have picked what they want for their one, their two, their three, and their four-pointer. Uh, we have let them pick already what they would like. And if you get it right, you get that point value. You get it wrong, you lose a point. So without further ado, we are going to go over to Blockbuster Video for their one-pointer in sport, which was picked by – or sorry, one-pointer in 2000. Yeah, me. one – yeah. One I was looking at the wrong <laughs> side of my board. One-pointer in 2000s for Mike. So, Mike, your one-pointer in 2000s, and I will give that to you. What? 2009 romantic comedy stars Gerard Butler and Katherine Heigl. The oh, the ugly truth. Final answer. That is correct. For one point. Blockbuster is still behind, so I will give Nazario his two pointer in sports. Nineteen. You Nazario, are you ready? Oh, right. I think he, I think he is. <laughs> 1979's Breaking Away focuses on what sport? Oh, shit. Hmm. Cycling, bicycles. We will accept that for two points. Those aren't Google Glasses, are they? <laughs> <laughs> okay and blockbuster you are still behind so we will go to you for your three pointer and directors where you can confer and if you get this right that we will go over to team 80s so your three pointer and directed and directors who directed four weddings and a funeral <sighs> Is 
You think anything, Nick? No. Is that the one Ang Lee made? I know he did like an old timey one like that, but I don't know if it's that one. You want to go for it? Do you have anything better? Just Gary Marshall, which I know probably isn't correct. So I know that one. Yeah. No. So yeah, go with we got. Ang Lee, final answer. I'm sorry that it's incorrect. Yes, Jeremy has the right answer. Oh, it yeah. is Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire director. Oh, you all. So uh, that it does mean Blockbuster loses one point there, bringing you back down to 14 points. And your four-pointer, which comes in the category of Tony Scott movies. Tony Scott. Your and how many repeats do we have left? You have one. Okay. Your four pointer. <clears throat> True romance. What classic movie title does Christian Slater use as a code term when discussing the drugs he wants to sell? I think it's Apocalypse Now, Nazario. Final answer. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We were looking for Dr. Zavago. That's. Mm. So, uh, I'm looking at the four here. If Team 80s misses all four, it could be a tie. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, you just got to get one, Sandy. Team 80s has to miss all four of their questions here in order for Blockbuster to make it through. So, but, we only, uh, but we only need to get one, right? If you get one yeah, question right, any of these questions right, you win. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Sandy. You got this, uh, brother. Brian will give you your one pointer in the category of sports movies. All right. In sports, who coached baseball for a team of inner city kids, including a young Michael B. Jordan, in the movie Hardball? <laughs> How many repeats do we have left? I have two. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I definitely won't use any because the answer is Keanu Reeves. Final answer. <laughs> and your winner <laughs> it is Sandy the Stanley Robinson and Jeremy the Adam Adams Team 80s. Oh, that. That was a tough uh, last round for Blockbuster Video. Just not getting ones they knew. Uh, Brian, uh, what were your thoughts on that? Uh, you know, it's everything we thought it would be. I mean, e even though uh, Blockbuster lost, they still they 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 didn't get the KO, didn't get the TKO. Well, they had to answer one question in round three. So, it, but it was still a good round. Eighteen to thirteen, respectable score. You know, and they're not done by any means. They'll be around in title contention for a long time to come. Yes, yes, definitely. Do you want to see how these teams are feeling in their post-match interviews? Well, you probably know how they're feeling, but I'll talk to them anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's first go over to our winners, and now moving on to the finals against either Apocalypse Now, which is Caleb Boatman and Sean Sandberg, or the other guys of Jake Marangoni, who Jeremy has a little bit of history with, <laughs> and Henry Sanchez. Uh, how do you guys feel about this, and how do you feel going into the finals? Well, I, I don't know if I've ever said this before, but I love the Oscars. <laughs> I don't think we would have gotten here. We knew you did. <laughs> we, I don't think we would have gotten here without the Oscars. Helped us in a couple matches. But, a couple matches, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, we're happy. Um, all credit to Blockbuster. You know, these guys are great. They played their asses off to get here, and it just, you know, the luck kind of turned against them this time, but, you know, they played a great game, and, and it was an honor to play them, and, you know, I know we had more fun playing these guys than we're going to have in the next match, because that's going to be <laughs> one way or the other, that's going to be a tough one. But, Absolutely. Uh, no, these but, guys heck, are phenomenal. Yeah, and we got this far, so we're happy. You know, we, we've, we've won three matches in a tournament. That is a heck of an accomplishment, and, you know, we're determined to get to the end, to... to to have that belt, but the fact that we got this far against three really great teams is is always gratifying. And you know, Sandy and I are very, very happy about that. Um, but you know, 
we've been playing as a team, I think, just about longer than any other team in these leagues. And we've got the chemistry, and we just love playing together, and we don't plan to stop anytime soon. And, uh, you know, we, we've been playing long enough that we feel it's time to have a title. So, you know, we're really happy. Um, I definitely do have a preference on what team we're going to be playing because we're not going to screw up like la- last time. We definitely did play one of those teams and we definitely did beat them. So <laughs> I think those might be the one that we're kind of, we're kind of favoring, but, uh, but either way, you know, whoever, whoever gets in that slot is going to have earned it and it's going to be a, in a heck of a match and we're going to, you know, do everything we can to study and be ready. Absolutely. And hats off to Mike and Nazario. They're two of our great friends in this league. So it was a fun time playing with them. As you can see, you know, nobody was upset. Nobody was angry. Nobody got <laughs> mad at one another. You know what? That's just the way it is. And, and these guys are great guys and they will be back. They're always going to be back. They're always there. And uh, yeah, Jeremy and I have been playing long enough that I won't, I'm not, I'm just not going to accept anything but a, but a title. Um, yeah. I, I want it. Jeremy wants it. Uh, we want it bad. And uh, you know what? Uh, bring it. Give it to us. I don't care who we play. Um, it doesn't matter to me. Both teams are great. Both teams have the, uh, an opportunity to beat us. Um, but it's Jeremy and I. So yeah. uh, bring it. All right. And going over to our second place team, um, I don't want to call them losers. The only loser tonight was the internet who can't seem to decide how many people played Jason Voorhees. Um, how do you guys <laughs> feel about the match? You know, last time we went two and one, we ended up two and one, we ended up going for a title. So be afraid with us at two and one. <laughs> Just going up from there. But in all honesty, Team 80s is a great team. Man, both those guys are amazing. They're awesome. It's always fun to play with them, against them. And I really hope that they take the title since they beat us. I really hope they do. But, you know, we said from the beginning of this year that we were going to make Blockbuster great again. And we have done that, and we're going to continue to do that. Because Blockbuster will never die. <laughs> I'm, honestly, how you feel. I'm honestly pretty glad that we actually uh, at least got to answer the, the Friday 13 questions. <laughs> <laughs> I have watched so much <laughs> Friday the 13th this week. It's yeah. insane. We, wa- we watched the 12 movies between the both of us, and then we watched the five-and-a-half-hour documentary. <laughs> I was ready for, let's just say, different questions. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it was awesome, man. It's, it's fun. I mean, once we, we basically got unlucky on the round two when they got Oscars because that's basically Spinner's choice for you. Yeah. Right? So, <laughs> uh, I, uh, well, uh, you know, the luck of the draw too. Uh, round three categories were not the best, but yeah. at least we, we made it interesting. So uh, let's just wait a bit, see who's champion, and then just go for it. Make Blockbuster great again. <laughs> and who knows, you might go on to play them again if they get the championship and you guys do get back to title contention, which, as Mike says, seems to be uh, the uh, pattern you've set here. Back over to you, Caleb. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a, a good match. Blockbuster fought hard, but, you know, uh, it, it went Team 80's way this time, and no, no team here has anything to hang their head about. They both played valiantly, and, yeah, I'm – in the event that me and Sean can take down the other guys, I know me and Sean will be studying very hard to face Team 80s, but I am also kind of looking forward to it because this, this is a great team that I would like to face. So, uh, you know, Sandy said bring it on, and hopefully uh, we can Kristen Dunst it. So uh, <laughs> with that being said, I'm Caleb. That's Brian. That's Team 80s, and that's Blockbuster Video. This has been Multiplex Movie Warzone. We'll see you uh, uh, real soon at the next week with the championship, which will be a lot of fun. So uh, bye-bye. 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 <laughs>